Hi friends, how are you? Today's topic is the summary of polling variables as per ASME section 9. So we'll check the what are the variables uh, in which clause it is coming in as per ASME section 9. So you see here. Just one in the uh, just one will give the explanation of the welding variables. What are the variables are there? A welding procedure specification shall contain at the minimum the specific essential and non essential variables that are applicable to the welding process. So, this is very important for any WPS essential and non essential variables. It need to be uh, elaborated in welding processes. If there is any toughness or impact requirement, then only supplementary essential variables need to be added in the WPS. That's why I mentioned when the referring code standards or specification require toughness qualification of the particular welding joint, then applicable supplementary essential variables shall also be provided in the WPS. So, essential variable, non essential variable, and the supplementary essential variable that including in in it comes into one table so that table which clause is coming so we'll go to the next page this variable are listed in the table qw 252 to qw 257 so in if you go the ask me section 9 from qw 252 to qw 257 all the variables are mentioned there in each table in according to the each welding process Please note that for each welding processes, there is a separate table containing the list of all variables. So each welding processes, there is a one table and in one table, it's mentioned the all variables. So you see here, summary table, very clear. Oxyfuel, if you go the oxyfuel gas welding, it is QW252 and QW252.1. SMNW, QW253 and QW253.1. So if you go to SAW submerge arc welding, then if you have it is QW254 and QW254.1. So this is the things you can understand easily that which clause you is coming for each welding processes GTAW, PAW, ESW, EGW, EGW, stud welding. So each have the different uh, variables uh, requirement. So you can see here, just a, give one example here. Some example from ASME section 9, welding variables, other you can find out direct from ASME section 9 each table. So in ASME section 9, if you go there, each table you can find out. You see here, table QW 252, welding variable procedure specification, oxyfuel gas welding. And if you see welding variable procedure specification, WPS, oxyfuel gas welding. So this is the QW 252 and QW 252.1. So this is two different. So this is you see here same here QW 253 253.1. So you can find out if you go the ASME section 9, you can find out the, all these variables is mentioned here. If you see QW 402 is the joint, QW 403 is the base metal. So each 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 uh, paragraph or each uh, requirement have different uh, each each uh, paragraph have different requirement if the essential which are the essential it's a cross marks and which are the non essential it is cross marks here so it is very clear so if you go the qw254 and 254.1 you can understand the which what are the requirement for the essential and non essential variable and supplementary essential variable and it should be elaborated in the wps as per the requirement so this is uh, this is the things uh, just one of the explanation of the summary this summary if you know if you know very well then it is very easy to find out the all variables from ASME ASME section 9. Thanks a lot for watching the video.